I, this is Music and Message, and this is Your Will Be Done. change the world as I write these lines Oh, if you were writing with me As moments unfurl right on time You change my destiny As I write things you want what would you have for me? I can change the world with a simple song Because you're riding with me Jesus, go before me Write inheritance for me Oh, no one can write like you Oh, you just say it and it's done Let me ride within your will Oh, if your kingdom come let it be the best thing for me Jesus, go before me Jesus, go before me And your will be done What's the song? Oh, that I long To be writing to you from me No, I write every day in such a way I could feel your gentle breeze If I were to cry Write the tears from my eyes And write tomorrow without any sorrow Erase the pain Just say it and it's done Let me write within your will Oh, of your kingdom come Be the best thing for me Jesus, go before me Jesus, go before me And your will be done Write your peace upon the sunrise That causes me to see Paint your mercy upon the sunset, a rapid in majesty. People leave, they may betray, and me promises they don't keep. But with you, hey, there's no way. You will never, never leave. someone who came into your life that was very precious to you that you invested your time energy and care and then they had to leave or maybe they just left of course loved ones pass away and life is fragile is there anything or anyone that we love that eventually will not go away when someone passes away or perhaps that first love leaves us 
and we especially when we're young we have to come to the realization that such a loss in life is painful and it's it's possible first when you're young you don't realize that and the first time it, it happens we feel really betrayed there are choices on how we react and that's with someone that dies too where do we go to if people are capable of, of these things happen that people pass and 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 pass away and that people are also capable of such such acts of abandonment and this and these things happen in life what do we do with that the ones that truly love you in this world will never leave you unless they pass away and we have had we we have to have to work on forgiveness for the rest for nobody does life completely right doing the wrong thing and the wrong things causes much of the pain and in this life and the separation that we see and some things that happen we just didn't deserve such a loss you know uh, there's someone who did all of this life completely right. You know, everyone has done wrong. Everyone has sinned and come short of the glory of God. What I have done in my life is confess that Jesus is Lord and believe that God raised him from the dead. And I found that I, that I, I was saved in this way. Jesus was crucified for all of us and as the Holy Son of God, and he had done nothing wrong. By grace, by undeserved favor and faith, that's how we get there. This, the God that I believe in, Jesus, the Son of God, God that will never leave, who is merciful, loving, kind, protective, I'm claiming his salvation and asking for his divine favor. For I found that as I have sought him in this way, that's exactly what he gives, his divine favor. Here's an interesting point. First John 4. In this was manifested the love of God towards us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world, that he might we might live through him. Here in his love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. And here's where I stand. Let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous, will with favor wilt thou compass him as with a shield. That's in Psalms 5. This is my God. Thy mercy, O Lord, is in the heavens, and thy faithfulness reaches unto the clouds. Thy righteousness is like the great mountains. Thy judgments are a great deep, O Lord. Thou preservest man and beast. How excellent is thy loving kindness. O God, therefore the children of men put your trust in the, under the shadow of your wings. They shall be abundantly satisfied the fatness of thy house, and I shall make them drink of the river of thy pleasures. Continue thy love and kindness to them that know thee, and thy righteousness to the upright in heart. For those that have trespassed against me and, and, and us, where do we go? Where do we go anyway? Go to the Lord. After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as in heaven. As in, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not to, 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 to temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. It's Matthew 6. And the best request is that God's will be done. Why? For it'll be the best way, for my good, for your good, and his glory. He rewards us with a heavenly inheritance. It's, it's about people. The more that I invite in the kingdom, the more people on the other side of this life that are going to say, hey, thanks for inviting me. That's one thing. And if I ever have to leave, anybody or anything he replaces that a hundredfold god is good he is kind he's fair in this way someday god is going to wipe away all tears from our eyes there will be no more pain no more sorrow no more death hold on loved ones have a little faith i need wisdom and i keep asking for this as well as joy peace divine favor strengthening but wisdom to lead in the right direction is key. Solomon asked for it in 1 Kings in this way. Um, life is fragile, folks. People may pass, but in Jesus, well, I have a promise that he'll, that death is just a narrow sunlit strip between the goodbyes of day and the hellos tomorrow, and he will never forsake us. In Jesus' name, have a fantastic and truly blessed week.